Hey everyone, I'm Chaz from Board Game Geek here with Rachel from 524 Labs, and you are going to be cracking the lid on Mint Control. This is true. Uh, Mint Control is, uh, I lovingly call it Mint Works' evil twin. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited already. I know, I know. <laughs> Area Control, you do not have to play nice anymore, and you can teach your friends to do that as well. So, uh, in the past, Mint, Mint Works was, you know, our worker placement, mm -hmm. uh, then followed by uh, pick up and deliver with Mint Delivery. Mint Cooperative was just funded, and that was our co-op. And now we've got Mint Control, who is, that's our area control. Um, what you're trying to do in Mint Control is everybody's realized in Mintopia that there's money to be made. Mm -hmm. And so they want their wrap on every single mint. So what you're ending up doing is taking these colored mints uh, okay. because my green company wants to own all of the mints. So what I'm trying to do um, is use my mints as currency okay. to purchase my, uh, my influence. Okay. So card anatomy wise, you've got this right here is how much it costs to place there. Okay. Then you also have, uh, this is, right. we'll come down to here, this is, if you have presence on there, not necessarily control, there's a difference between control mm. and presence okay. that new gamers will need to learn. Mm -hmm. So uh, presence means that you're on there, but you're not necessarily in control. Maybe you don't have the same amount, or you don't have the More. majority, Major yeah. um, and, but you can still have this presence uh, bonus. Mm -hmm. And if you get kicked off, we feel bad for you, and you've got a little bit of a consolation prize. Oh, that's so kind so of you. So there is something that happens, uh, and and you do that um, to end the game. You are trying to have one of the players place all five of their influence tokens. Okay. But even if they do, they mm -hmm. might not have won. Oh. Because up here in the corner, you have these victory points. Okay, these stars. Yes, and that comes down to control. Okay, so I not only want to get mine onto the board, but I want to make sure to get the best places. That's correct. And of course, the more places that you have to fight over, the more it's worth. Okay. So, um, for example, um, we have these five actions. And I always want to clarify this one thing because uh, the action pool to play correctly, uh, you are going to only refill it uh, you're going to refill it if there is not enough for everyone at the table to play again. Okay. So say you've got three players, you've played these three, mm -hmm. that means you need to refill the whole pool. Right. But that changes if you're playing two player. Right, because you're going to be able to take more turns before you hit that threshold. Right. And if you don't, if so then if you refill the pool every round mm -hmm. when you're playing two two player, there's a loop. Somebody's going to try to put something down, and then they're going to kick, kick them off. Okay. And so don't play it that way. It's not fun. <laughs> but what you're going to do is they're going to play there too. Mm -hmm. Then the, the next one they can choose. And then once you get one left, you fill the action pool back up. Okay. And it, is it these five that refill, or are there additionals that we're not seeing? These here? are the current okay. ones. So so um, what we have with these action tiles is it's a little bit Puerto Rico Okay. in that the top of any action tile is for the entire table, okay. an effect that everybody gets to enjoy or not enjoy. Mm -hmm. And then if you chose that action, you get the perk. The perk. So say we earn, mm -hmm. everybody's going to get a mint, and I get two. Excellent. And that kind of keeps all the players engaged throughout everybody's turn then. That's correct. That's you nice. are always, um, everybody's always watching. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, it's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're then trying to do is say you're going to take, um, we'll say well, um, I'm going to go ahead and influence. Mm. That means I'm going to pay to influence one. Mm -hmm. um, and since my perk is that I pay one less, mm -hmm. is that this city hall right here, mm -hmm. it only costs one. So I don't, it's I free. I get to put it there for free, and now that there's an effect on that card that the controller then gains an additional mint any time they choose an action. So there are different effects 
that you're trying to to achieve. And uh, I think in here I have, I think there are 12 locations, oh. infinite replayability, so many different things. Nice. What I recommend is I always try, uh, the, the way that you do set up is you want to make sure that you have five of these influence spots available per player that's playing. Okay. And to make it for variability and more fun, I make sure that I don't just put two fives out. I'm gonna look through the through the different things and say, okay, well, I want to do a three and a two and a one, and yeah. you know, it's just more fun to to be able to well, was, mess with people <laughs> with twelve different locations. Then, yeah, you, you try, there's quite a bit of variability because you yes. have a different number to to reach that five per player. Absolutely, nice, nice. Yes. Nice. So, um, I guess that the other thing, um, once we've discussed the fact that when you are introducing people to area control because this is kind of what we do is we try to give you a portable game that's a big game in a little box that can play tiny box yes tiny nice. box i mean yes that's small the uh you can play it in under 30 minutes and you can teach it in under five excellent and wh where is this in terms of its production and availability this is currently on kickstarter right and about five minutes ago we hit a, a stretch goal excellent. that uh, unveiled one of our solo AI, Ooh. and I'm about to go live on that one to show everybody where we haven't revealed solo mode yet mm -hmm. and how to beat Eddie. He's a little unstable because <laughs> we called him Crazy Eddie, and they're like, "No, unstable." Unstable Eddie. <laughs> Much so but yeah. How long is its Kickstarter running through? We launched on the third. Okay. It's going to go through the twenty seventh. All right. Um, it's ten dollars. $10, two $10. more weeks to get in on it. Great variability. Uh, so there you go. If this is something where you would like to spread your influence in a very small but very powerful area. It <laughs> is. And my one last thing I want to tell you mm -hmm. is that when you play with somebody that's never played this game before, they're not going to think to ask themselves, saying, because maybe that might be a good idea. <laughs> there you go. All right. That is Mint Control. Check it out. And thank you so much, Rachel, for joining us and sharing it. Of course. It. Thank All you. Right.